bags with our pixels party on here. So here we have Jesus and we have our Pharisee and his name is Simon. And um, one day a Pharisee named Simon invited Jesus to have dinner at his house. And the Pharisees thought um, they were better than everybody else. Remember we talked about that last week when we had the two Pharisees and then we had Nicodemus who was a Pharisee but believed that Jesus was the Messiah, the Son of God, okay? So this week we have Jesus and Simon the Pharisee. Well, Simon the Pharisee um, invited Jesus over to his house. Simon, um, they were sitting down and they were having dinner, and all of a sudden a sad woman busts into their house and is so sad, and she's crying, and she falls to the feet of Jesus, and she begins to um, cry at Jesus' feet and weep at Jesus' feet. And then she gets a bottle of perfume that she has brought with her. And she begins to kiss Jesus' feet, pours this perfume on his feet, and wipes her tears with her hair. About it, um, when Simon saw what was happening, he said to himself, if this man is really the Son of God, he would never let this woman touch him. She is a sinner. Well, when Jesus heard what Simon had said, he told this story, and the story is from Luke uh, 7, 41 through 43. He said two people owed money um, to a certain lender. One owed 500 silver coins. The other owed 50 silver coins. Neither of them had the money to pay him back, so he let them go without paying. So he let them go without paying. Which one of them will love him more? Well, Simon replied, I suppose the one who owed the most money. Jesus said, you are right. Then Jesus said to Simon, you didn't give me any water to wash my feet, but she washed my feet with her tears. You didn't greet me with a kiss, but she hasn't stopped kissing my feet since she got here. You didn't put oil on my head, but she poured perfume on my feet. She has shown me so much love because I've forgiven her of so much sin. Well, the other guests at the party, at the dinner, at the dinner table, were very surprised. They were shocked, they were even shocked. And they said, who is this man who even forgives sin? Then Jesus said to the woman, um, your sin, or your sin, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. All right, it's time to discuss the story. The questions are coming up. So what an interesting story that we have to talk about today. But um, have you ever felt like you had 500 coins worth of sin? Or in other words, have you ever felt like you have messed up so big and so many times that you couldn't possibly ask God to forgive you? If you've ever felt that way, um, let's, let's talk about it. See this glass of water 
right here. Well, um, it there's a problem with this glass of water. It's way too small to give us a picture of God's forgiveness. Do you know how big God's forgiveness is? Well, let's take a look at our Bible verse for today. It says, You will completely wipe out the evil things we have done. You will throw all our sins into the bottom of the sea. Micah 7, 19 God's forgiveness is as big as the sea, which is way bigger than this cup of water that I have. When we bring our sins to Him, it's like we're tossing the evil things we do into the ocean of forgiveness, of God's forgiveness. Have you ever seen the ocean before? Have you just ever been to Kentucky Lake? It seems so big. But do we really know how big the ocean is or how big the lakes really are? It's really big. 70% of our planet, the planet Earth, is covered in oceans. 70%. That's huge. The deepest part of the ocean is called, called the Mariana Trench. It's 36,000. 6,000 feet deep, way bigger than I can even imagine it's that deep. That's so deep that if you threw Mount Everest, and if you know Mount Everest, it is the tallest point on the earth, it would cover the entire thing. So if you put Mount Everest in this trench, it would cover the entire thing. Thing. In fact, you would have to swim down 7,000 feet to reach the tip of Mount Everest inside this trench. Just, just go, wow, my mind is blown because that's what it is. Well, that's how big God's forgiveness is. It's as big as, and as deep as the ocean. God's forgiveness wipe out the sins. It can wipe out our 500 sins, our two sins, whatever sins we may have, it can get rid of those and wipe those away. God, God's forgiveness can wipe out any sin. I think most of us probably knew that God's forgiveness can wipe out any sin, um, but sometimes we don't act like it. Let's be honest. Um, sometimes we're too, too ashamed to ask God forgiveness. Sometimes we um, have a hard time admitting that we've sinned. Sometimes it has been something that we have asked for forgiveness for a lot. And we think, man, God, I don't know that you want, that you will forgive me for the billionth time that I've treated people meanly, or I have said those words that I know you wouldn't want me to say, or I've done that thing. It's, it's the millionth time I've done that. But God's word says that it doesn't matter how many times we just have to ask. And that's the important thing is that we need to ask God for God's forgiveness. Our story today, we should be like that woman who ran to Jesus and asked for forgiveness, and we should just run to the feet of Jesus, cry out to him. We just can go to him and we can say, God, please forgive me for this. She threw her gigantic sin into Jesus's ocean of forgiveness, and he completely wiped it out. All gone, no more, so no matter how many times you have sinned, no matter, no matter how many times you have messed up, don't be afraid to ask Jesus for forgiveness. Okay, guys, let's pray. Jesus, thank you so much for your love. Thank you for that ocean or that sea of forgiveness and forgetfulness, Lord. Um, no matter how many times I have messed up, May I ask for forgiveness. Help these boys and girls to realize that there will be times when they need to say, Jesus, forgive me for that sinning that I have done. And may they do that. God, we just love you and we praise you and we thank you for being a wonderful God who does 
forgive us and who does wipe everything clean. We praise you, Jesus. Amen. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon.